Welcome back to Rescue Bots Academy. Today we're taking a look at episode 13, Blame Game. This episode begins with the recruits doing a practice mission, but Hotshot is too distracted by the prospect of taking a field trip to Cybertron to see a cube game, resulting in a chain reaction of events that causes them to fail the mission. They all blame each other. Hotshot decided to let go of the overpass. Hoist is the one that glued you to the rocks. Only because I was hit by a flying car. Why didn't you warn me, medics? It's his fault! My fault? His fault! His fault! Her fault! His fault! My fault! Nobody's going to the game. Wait, but they- There's a human saying. When you point a finger at someone else, three fingers point back at you. Yeah, but you guys only have three fingers. So for you, it would be two pointing back at you. Heatwave gives them all chores to complete with hotshots being the emergency dispatch. But when an emergency call comes in, and none of the senior rescue bots respond, Hotshot takes it upon himself to take on the rescue mission solo in order to prove that it wasn't his fault that they messed up on the previous practice mission. Well, Hotshot gets kind of stuck holding a tree from falling on the house of the family that we saw in the episode, If At First. But luckily the other rescue bots arrive just in time to save him. When they get back to the base, Heatwave is upset with them for leaving the base without telling any of the senior rescue bots, and the recruits all share in the blame. Yes, sir. It's mine too. I didn't report Hotshot the moment I knew he'd left the base. By that rationale, I also share blame. So do I. I'm Spartacus! I'm Spartacus! I'm Spartacus! I'm Spartacus! I'm Spartacus! I'm Spartacus! I'm Brian of Nazareth! I'm Brian! I'm Brian! I'm Brian! I'm Brian! I'm Brian and so's my wife! Your honesty has earned you the right to go to the cube game. What? No way! <laughs> this was an okay episode story-wise. The recruits all suddenly blaming each other just for losing one training mission did feel very out of character for them. It was like something you'd see them do if there was a Decepticon version of the Rescue Bots Academy. What would they even be called? Obviously they wouldn't be rescue bots. What is the opposite of rescue? The Danger Cons? So maybe the Danger Cons Institute? Hey Boulder Media, I think I just came up with a future episode idea. Maybe you can do an episode where the recruit stasis pods malfunction while they're sleeping and they all have a bad dream where they're all Decepticons at the Danger Cons Institute and they're taking lessons on how to be mean and cause trouble. And then when they wake up, they have to reflect on themselves and think about why they did those bad things in their dreams. Is that really who they are? Are those negative feelings and actions a part of them? Anyways, just an idea. But yeah, other than that weird out of character moment, it was an all right episode. And it did have some great humor in it too. Um, who are you? Hotshot, Heatwave didn't mention me? Ever? Wow, that hurts a little. That was amazing, Hit Show. Uh, it's Hotshot, actually. So now what do you do? Easy. Next, my teammates attach cables and, uh... Let me know what you thought of this episode, Blame Game, down in the comments. And I'll see you here for the next episode, Medic Surprise. Please leave a 